Druid build video. Uh, this one is featuring the tornado, werewolf uh, tornado build. Pretty much what it does is it destroys and it summons monsters directly to me. And then as you can see, pretty much everything blows up, which it's pretty powerful. I enjoy it. Um, Uh, for the most part, everything is pretty straightforward you can get from dungeons, except for the couple of them that I mentioned where you have to farm the pieces. So pay attention to, to your legendary drops as you're going through stuff. Good luck on your drop, so good luck. Hopefully you get it. So is everybody ready finally for our druid build video? Uh, this one is featuring the tornado, werewolf uh, tornado build, which it's pretty powerful. I enjoy it. Um, so let's uh, get to it. So as you can see, our main stats, our attack power 6,173, armor 6,544, life 13,000, strength is 264, intelligence 440, willpower 632, dex 420. So if we go down into our stats, right? We've already covered these ones. So offensive, weapon damage, weapon speed, attack bonus. Um, as you can tell, this build focuses more a lot on the whole crits. So critical strike chance, 38.8%. Critical strike damage, 152.8%. Critical strike damage with werewolf, 40%, right? Overpower chance, overpower damage, 208%. Vulnerable damage, 84. All damage, 75. Damage versus Elise, damage control, uh, damage versus close, damage versus healthy versus poison versus human, damage while shapeshifted, damage with the werewolf, damage with physical, poison, core, shapeshifting, uh, damage with werewolf, and oh, sorry, damage while werewolf is up here, sorry, damage with the werewolf, thorns. Defensive, 13k maximum life. Healing, potion, healing from potions, my armor, my werebear armor, my werewolf armor, armor contribution, dodge chance, fortify bonus, fire resistance, cold resistance, lightning, poison, shadow, uh, damage reduction from el elites, damage reduction from vulnerable, damage reduction from close, damage reduction from poisoned, damage reduction while fortified. My utility, maximum spirit is 121, spirit cost reduction 18.8%, spirit regeneration, I don't really have any, but that's okay. Spirit generation, 14%. Movement speed, 128. Hey, hey, I'm kind of fast. Elite kill movement, 33. Cooldown reduction, 27. Lucky hit chance, 13.5. Crowd control, 11.2. PvP, damage reduction, not too bad, right? Armor contribution, 65%. So let's close that. Let's take a look at our gears. So I'm using the Tempest Roar. Uh, as you can see, it is a level 80 helmet. Um, my item power is pretty good, 800 over. Um, my overall stats were not too, too bad. So 43.9% poison resistance. I got an 18% critical strike. Obviously max is better, but not too bad. 18, plus 18 maximum spirit, almost a perfect stat. Damage while shapeshifted, 23%, so almost perfect. And my lucky storm... Oh, sorry, Lucky Hit Storm 1, 18% out of the 25 max. So that's actually not too, too bad, you know. Then I use uh, Mad Wolf's Glee, which keeps me in werewolf form the whole time. So again, item power is over 800. Um, if you look at all of the stats on my gears, again, it's all pretty high. Poison damage is almost perfect. My physical damage is almost perfect. Damage reduction is a perfect roll. Yeah, and movement speed is not too, too bad. So could it be better? Sure, but it's literally almost a perfect piece. And I love it because it keeps me as a werewolf constantly. Uh, my gloves uh, could be better, but they're still pretty good for what I have. So 9% critical strike chance, 13.5 lucky hit chance, plus four ranks of tornado, and my 24 uh 24.8 critical strike damage with werewolf skills imprinting give me 25 uh 21 percent for five seconds so we'll, we'll cover over that also after 
my pants. Vigorous Doom Curuses, right? Uh, so we've got Maximum Life, Thorns, 3.3 total percent armor, 13.3 total armor while in werebear form. Um, the pants could be better, but overall, I like them. And they, they do the job, right? Uh, my gain in my imprint, obviously, again, is a perfect stat on it. But the rest uh, could be. So I, like, I'm still kind of in the market trying to find some better pants. But so far, I like what I have. Sorry. <laughs> can, can you tell I'm being a little bit sarcastic on my pants? But yeah, I haven't had much luck on, on pants overall. But the, the pretty much maximum life... I like it. it. It keeps me what I need, so. Uh, my boots. Movement speed is pretty good. I'm oh, sorry. Um, movement speed for four seconds after killing an elite. Move plus 18% movement speed. Plus 8% total armor while werewolf form. But 10.3 10, 10 spirit cost reduction is literally a maxed stat. So yeah. So while Hurricane is active, plus two ranks to your shape-shifting skills, not too bad. Again, boots also, I'm kind of in the market of trying to find something a little bit better. But again, if you find something, like, with the pieces that I have, they will still help you drastically throughout everything you're doing. Um, my weapon that I'm using. Um, vulnerable damage is almost perfect. My damage to close enemies is not is pretty high. Core skill damage is pretty good. Critical strike damage with wearable skills is not too bad. And my Blood Howl, again, we'll look at the aspect after, is almost a perfect stat for the weapon. So let's take a look at my necklace. My cooldown reduction is perfect. Um, I've got plus one rank of Toxic Claws passive. Uh, total armor while in werewolf form is still pretty good. Damage while in human form is not bad. Again, my, um, my Grizzly Rage aspect is pretty much perfect. And my Barber Heart that I'm using is almost perfect if you take a look at it two percent is literally is perfect it's almost there um a band of retaliation for my um rings um 13.5 percent vulnerable damage uh 26.2 percent critical strike damage so my critical strike damage is perfect my fortify regener regeneration is a 29 percent, so it's pretty good my critical strike chance is pretty good, it's 5.7%. So my core skills, out of the 40% that I have on my aspect, I have a 38%. So that's pretty good. Uh, the heart that I'm using, as you can see, um, it's giving me a 19% uh, incoming damage instead of... Incoming damage is instead suppressed when you use a defensive subtravergent or macabre skill. All suppressed damage is amplified by 250% and explodes, dealing up to 15,000 damage, fire damage to nearby enemies. And then my other ring. So I've got poison damage, so it gives me 21%. Uh, my physical damage is maxed, so 26, perfect roll. Critical strike damage, 21%, almost perfect. And resource generation is a 14.6, almost pretty good again. And again, my aspect, the duration of Grizzly Rage is increased by 5. It's almost a perfect perfect roll. My Devious Heart up to 47. So again, this one, my heart's almost perfect. It's like 50 on that one. 10% cooldown reduction. Almost perfect. Crowd control duration, 11.3. Critical Strike Chance, 5.7. Spirit Cost Reduction is a 9.4. And my tornado will seek up to three targets. So, again, like when you're, when, at least with these gears, when you're looking at it, you can kind of have an idea of what you need to go with. And, like, as I keep looking for gears, obviously things are probably going to change. But for now, this can pretty much get you into high, high level nightmares and get you through the stuff with very little issues. Uh, so, my spirit boons. Um, as you can, sorry, my eyes are killing me here. So I'm using, um, Masochist, which gives me Lucky Hit, Critical Strike, Strikes with Shapeshifting Skill have up to a 75% chance to heal you for 3% maximum life, and Calm Before the Storm, so Nature Magic Skills have up to a 10% chance to reduce the cooldown of your ultimate skill by 2 points. So this is the snake section. Uh, 
wolf section, I'm using Calamity. Extends the duration of ultimate skills by 25%. Uh, the eagle one, I am using Scythe Talons. Gains 5% increased critical strike chance. And the deer, I'm using Wariness. Takes 10% redu reduced damage from elites. So if we take a look at um, our skills, right? So let's go to the top. Uh, sorry. The top, 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 top. So I'm using one Storm Strike. Uh, claw is four out of five. Then we go down into here. Heart of the Wild, one. Wild Impulse is three. Then Tornado, you are going to max it as high as you can go. Uh, you're going to go Enhanced Tornado and Raging Tornado. Shred, my, shr my Shred is four out of five. Uh, predatory Instinct 3-3, three, three. Uh, Digitigrade Gate 3-3. Three, three. So going back to the Tornado, again, you're going to want that on your gears, like I showed you in in my pieces, right? So you're going to max this as much as possible, because your build relies on this. Uh, then we're going to go down here. Sorry, Cyclone Armor, 1 out of 5. Enhanced Cyclone Armor, uh, Preserving Cyclone Armor. Then Ancestral Fortitude is 3-3. Three, three. Vigilance is 3-3. Three, three. Blood Howl, 5-5. Five, five. So max it. Enhanced Blood Howl, Preserving Blood Howl. Then we're going to go down. As you can see, we, we, not, we don't pick anything here. So down here, um, Elemental Exposure, 3-3. Three, three. Endless Tempest, 3-3. Three, three. Hurricane, 1. Enhanced Hurricane, Savage Hurricane. Then Rabies, we're going to go 4 out of 5. Neurotoxin, 1. Toxic Claws 4 3 and Venom 3 3. Then we jump down here. Defiance we go 3 3. Uh, Grizzly Rage 1. Prime, Prime Grizzly Rage and Supreme Grizzly Rage. Then we're going to go Defensive Posture 3 3. Nature's Resolve 1. And then we're going to choose Perfect Storm as our, um, our key passive. So storm skills that you cast grant one spirit and deal 15% increased damage when damaging a vulnerable, immobilized, or slowed enemy. So that's the skill tree itself that, that you're going to go with whenever you're choosing your stuff. Uh, Paragon, sorry, let me, oh god, let me go to the beginning. <clears throat> so Paragon, this is what it, it looks like, pretty much your, uh, your board. Just quickly. So, this is how we do it, okay? So you start down here, go here, 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 here. Then we go up, this way, this way, this way, grab these. Then you're gonna go down, this way, this way, this way, and you're gonna grab these ones here. And then obviously up. Uh, your glyph socket is your exploit rune. Then you're gonna go this way, this way, this way, this way. And then up, up, up. Grab the impel. Up, 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 up. And then you're moving into your next board. So let me just... It's a little bit harder to see. But if I zoom like this, then you can kind of see all of it. Then, so just zoom in one more time just so you can see the whole board. Okay. So the next board... Um, so this is the... Heightened Malice uh, board. So when we start up here, we're gonna go up, up, up. Then we're gonna go this way, this way, this way, this way. We're gonna grab this, this. Grab your Fang and Claw uh, rune. And then it's down, down, down. Grab Nature Born. This way, this way, this way, this way, this way, this way. Sinking Fangs, up, up. Up, 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 over, 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 over to the next board. Then we're going to ignore that for now. And then we're going to go back this way. So as you can see, so then we go up, 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 this way, this, this way, this way, this way. Grab overturn. Then we go up, up. Then we're going to go this way. So over, over, this way. We're going to grab toxic bane. Then we're going to go up, 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 up. This way, this way, that Poison Resilience, up, over, over, and then grab the Heightened Malice. Then when we go back down this way, we go over, 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 this way, this way, this way, into the next board. 
So if I zoom out um, like this, you can pretty much see the whole board. So you pretty much can see where you have to go to put uh, your runes for this one. So then we're going to go this way and just take a look at this board. So this one here is the Thunderstruck board. So as you can see, we go down, 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 down. This way, this way, grab your hubris. Grab the blue one, go over, over. Uh, you're gonna put territorial here. Then you're gonna go here, down, down. Then this way, this way, up, up, here. Up, oh, sorry, across, up to deluge. Across, 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 up, up, over. This way, this way, this way, this way, this way, this way, up until you grab Thunderstruck. So again, you can pretty much, oops, sorry. You can pretty much see where you have to go. So if I zoom in, just so you can kind of see the path you're taking. So you pretty much see where you're going when you go across, right? Okay. So that's this board right here. So Thunderstruck, keep in mind, okay? So then we're gonna go back over now to the next board. It's a little bit harder to see this one because of how it's zoomed out, but you can pretty much get an idea. Um, this board is the inner beast. So, <clears throat> so we go this way, 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 here, 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 here. So here, up, up. Here, down, you're gonna grab earth and sky, then across, 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 down, here, here. Then down, then start here, down, 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 here, 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 here. So grab all the blue ones, right? Then across, 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 up towards the next board. Then after that, we go down, we go back to the beginning. So then down, down, across, across, here, grab the nimble, here, 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 down, 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 across, across, across to the next board. So again, if I zoom out a little bit, you can pretty much see uh, where you're going. And again, if I just zoom in a little bit more, just to make it a little bit easier. Just so you can pretty much see the direction that we're moving in. Okay. And then we're gonna go down this way just to make it quicker because this board is very, very tiny. So this board to make it simple is the Ancestral Guidance Board. Um, after spending 75 square, you deal 30% de increased damage for five seconds. So here we're gonna zoom in to make it easier. So down, down, across here, down, 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 across, across, this way, this way, this way, this way, and then grab this room. And then this board is pretty much finished. So then after that, we go over here to the final board, which is the Less for Carnage board. So, uh, okay, so we start here, 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 here. This way, this way, this way, this way, this way. Here you're gonna grab Werewolf. Then we're gonna go up, up, here, here, here. Gonna grab Feral, right? Then down, 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 grab Regenerative. Then go across, 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 here, 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 and then grab Lust for Carnage. So this board itself, again, is just very simple. And there you go. That's pretty much all of your paragons and how they're set up. So just zoom in one more time for you to see it here. So very simple, very straightforward. Uh, the Tornado build is super, super fun on the Druid. I, I highly recommend that you all check it out and attempt it. Um, the one thing I'm going to show you, is, if you guys are curious just to see kind of how it works, uh, we're going to go into the Helltide really fast. We're not going to stay long, but just, just to show you how um, the combat works. Because I know um, some people asked for some gameplay footage of how it works uh, previously on some of my other builds. So here I'm just going to show you really, really fast. So we're just going to run in and just find some mobs. Just to make it so, so, so as you can see, as soon as I get outside, I turn into an automatic werewolf. So, pretty much what it does is it destroys and it summons monsters directly to me. And then, you, as you can see, pretty much everything blows up. So, as you advance, things run to you, right? So, then you just shoot off your tornado, and then you just wait for them to come to you. 
So we got 10 seconds on the cooldown for this. That way I can properly show it. So Blood Howl obviously heals me. So wait. So see how it, it pulls everything directly to you. So whenever you're trying to move fast in an event or anything, it's very quick, right? So while we have this active, let me just go up. So see how things are getting pulled to me as I'm running, right? This is what it does. It makes it so much easy, and then if your if your crit goes off and your hits go off, you pretty much just one shot things. I must wait, I do not have enough spirit. So you can move very quick when you're farming. So again, we're gonna we're gonna cast it off. And then see how everything pulls. Turn on your your um, your hurricane, right? And go in, in. And then pretty much just see how everything is just dying. Like, super, super quick. This is literally one of the best builds when it comes to speed farming. Like, it's, it's so much fun. So imagine also if you had, like, the perfect... The perfect gear pieces, right? Because, like I said, like, I'm still working on trying to get some of the better... Better rules, because um, some of my pieces don't have everything that I want. But... It's pretty good for what I, what I have, right? So again, so as you can see, pretty much everything gets one-shotted as soon as it gets into my little tornado things, right? And the to my tornadoes seek targets. So you see how many tornadoes we have, which is also like really cool. So see how they're coming? So this is pretty much what you can expect from this build. So, in dungeons, farming out in the wild, like in overland, it's pretty much perfect for almost everything. So see? Pretty cool, alright? So then obviously once your timer runs out, then, uh, then you have to grab everything naturally. Well, you just wait for your your summon to come back right then you turn it on and then everything just comes right back to you again and then you basically just delete everything I must wait a um obviously always make sure that you have your spirit okay so as you can see the event bugged out which is like not a super big deal there so let me just grab this because the event is done but yeah, so see, easy peasy, right? So if you uh, want to test out the build and you think it's great, I would love to have some feedback on it. So please leave a comment, subscribe to the channel, and uh, tell me if, you, if you're interested in checking out any other uh, druid builds, and um, I will get that sorted out. So until then, thank you, and I'll see you soon. So I almost forgot to add in our aspects. So uh, let's go through them. So the gloves we use accelerating, which basically critical strikes with core skills increase your attack speed by whatever percentage of that you have. So mine are 21% for five seconds. Uh, these are a random drop while you're farming. So good luck. Hopefully you get it. Um, my pants are vigorous. So gain 15% damage reduction while shape shifted into a werewolf. Love them. Again, um, I have the perfect uh, drop on that. Uh, Storm Shifter are on my boots. So while Hurricane is active, gain plus two ranks to your shapeshifting skills. Pretty good. Um, this one is the uh, Blood Howl. So increases critical strike chance by 9.5%. In addition, Blood Howl also affects nearby companion player, companions and players for three seconds. So that's Blood Howl. Wait, so Blood Howl is uh, this one here, right? So the Night Howler's Aspect. That is what this one is called. Uh, then we're going to go over here. So Storm Chaser. So Tornado will seek up to three targets. This one also is a random drop while you're farming. It's a pain in the butt to get, so if you get it, heck yes. <laughs> um, our Necklace. Grizzly Rage now shapeshifts you into a Dire Wolf. As a Dire Wolf, you gain minus a 38% movement speed in instead of damage reduction and a 75% spirit cost reduction bonus. In addition, you Kills heal you for 10% of your maximum life. That is what I am using. So that is the Grizzly Rage. Uh, which is the Dire Wolf aspect. 
Um, Band of Retaliation. So your core skills deal up to 38% increased damage based on the amount that you fortify. Uh, sorry. Uh, core skills deal up to... Based on fortify, right? So that one is called... Let me just try to find it. Oh, sorry. <clears throat> Uh, here. Aspect of Retaliation. So that's this one. And this one, uh, Band of Rampaging Werebees. The duration of Grizzly Rage is increased by 5 seconds. In addition, critical strikes while Grizzly Rage is active to increase... Is active to increase your critical strike damage by 10% for the duration. So duration of Grizzly Rage. Which is... Uh, that is this one. So the aspect of rampaging were beast. So again, like based on like which one you got, the drop you get, right? So mine is again a, a maxed stat. So those are pretty much the aspects that you need um, for all of your accessories. Um, obviously, helmet, chest piece, we don't use any because these are our uniques. Uh, for the most part, everything is pretty straightforward. You can get from dungeons. Except for the couple of them that I mentioned where you have to farm the pieces. So pay attention to, to your legendary drops as you're going through stuff. And good luck on your drops. And uh, don't forget to subscribe to the channel. And hopefully you enjoy the build. Until then, bye! <laughs>